Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. I think it's awesome that you've swung by to check things out. So we're out at Tallgrass Shooting Sports. This is my home away from home. And I've got to say a huge thank you to Mike and Lisa Irvin for allowing me to be out here and film for you guys. Without their help, I wouldn't be able to produce the content as easily as I am able to. So uh, guys, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. If you guys are interested in supporting some of the things that they do, I've got a link down in the description below to a nonprofit organization that Mike and Lisa run. It's called Foster Teen Camps, and I'd really encourage you guys to check that out. It's a great organization to support the foster kids in the area, and uh, it's something that I donate to when I can, and if you guys have the ability to, that would mean an awful lot to me and to Mike and Lisa as well. Okay, let's get into this review. We're going to be talking about the Taurus G3C, and uh, let me tell you, this is a review that I don't want to do <laughs> for two different reasons. Um, the first reason is in my last videos on the Taurus G2C, a lot of people called me out and said that I was biased against Taurus, and I'm big enough to say, yeah, yeah, I am. I have my own personal experience with Taurus, with issues and pistols that I've had in the past before I was a YouTuber. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of their business ethics that they've had in the last few years. Uh, and I, I really do think that their QA, QC is a little suspect. Now, has that changed? That's yet to be determined, but I will say since my last series of videos on the Taurus G2C, they have come out with three new pistols, the TX-22, the G3, and the G3C, and it seems like those are really, really great pistols. Now, the second reason why I really don't want to do this video is because this pistol's kind of good. <laughs> um, I really never had huge complaints with the G2C when it came to its reliability and um, those types of things, but uh, I was just really concerned about some of the other aspects of Taurus. So what I've seen with the G3C is they've made several upgrades to it and they've brought this pistol where I personally think it should have been from the get-go. So let's dive into this review of this pistol. If you're not familiar, if you're new to firearms, the G3C is the newest iteration of the PT-111. That pistol was introduced in the late 90s and has seen several different generations since to include the PT-111 G2, G2 Millennium, and then the G2C, and now the G3C. With that being said, this is a polymer frame, semi-automatic, 9 millimeter pistol that uh, is pretty much in that gray area between a subcompact and a compact pistol. A Glock 19 is the gold standard when it comes to the compact pistols, uh, at least for size wise, and you will be able to see that this is a little bit smaller than the Glock 19. However, it is going to be a little bit bigger than the Glock 26, which is the subcompact version of the Glock 19. So with that being said, um, that's kind of where I see this. I consider it a subcompact pistol. Now let's talk about uh, what's going on with the G3C. As far as the overall dimensions, it's going to be 6.3 inches long, 5.1 inches tall, about one and a quarter inches wide and weigh 22 ounces unloaded. It's going to come with three 12 round magazines, which I think is awesome from a company to offer three magazines because three magazines is more than two or even one. <laughs> but realistically, the way I see it and the way that if I was buying this pistol, I would have one magazine loaded in the firearm at all times. I'd have a backup that I carry with me if I'm concealed carrying, and then I would leave one at home completely empty so that I could utilize that magazine for dry fire practice. How you guys set it up is how you do it, but that's kind of my perspective and why I really do uh, like the fact that they've, they've done that. 
Let's talk about the aesthetics of this pistol. It has not changed very much at all when it comes to the previous versions. Uh, about the biggest thing that they've done is added front slide serrations and they, they deleted the uh, lightning cut on the slide. So this has a more of a boxed shape, which I really do like. They have tapered the muzzle for reholstering, which is really nice as well. I do like the front slide serrations because I do press checks. I'm a trust but verify. I do realize that my pistols are usually going to be loaded, but I always like to just double check. It does have a loaded indicator right here. So kind of you can just look down and peep through and you should be able to see a, a shell casing should there be uh, a round in the chamber, which is nice as well. Now let's talk about the two major upgrades that Taurus has done with this pistol and what I honestly believe has kind of separated it from its predecessors and that's going to be first and foremost the sights they have went away from the g2c style sights which were plastic in my opinion very shallow uh, and while they were adjustable i did like the fact that they were adjustable having very short shallow um, sights made it very hard to get a consistent sight picture and for me i wasn't as accurate as i could be with a Glock or a SIG or any of the other striker fire pistols that are out on the market today. So um, I do like that they've gone to all steel sights with a white dot front sight and a blacked out rear, which is exactly how I prefer my sights to be. But in addition to that, what they've done is they've made these sights compatible with Glock style sights as well. So if there is a set of sights that you want or you use say on a Glock 19 or or some that you've seen before and you like you can buy that for this pistol and that is huge it opens up a world of aftermarket support for the G3C which is awesome the next major upgrade uh, for this pistol is going to be the trigger and what they have done is basically brought this trigger up to the par for most all other striker fired pistols out there the previous versions of this pistol had a very very long take up and in fact the first time i tested one out with the g2c i thought the trigger was broke because it felt like it went all the way back to the rear of the trigger well before it even broke and i'm so here i'm playing with the trigger thinking that it's not working and my FFL is like, nah, dude, it's just really, really long. <laughs> so, <laughs> needless to say, they have really reduced that take up. Uh, so it is not as long as it used to be. I will say that it is going to be a little bit longer than the Glock 19 that I have for kind of comparison's sake. But at the end of the day, it is a vast improvement to the earlier models. The um, break on this is pretty nice. You can see that it's uh, pretty crisp on that brake. And then the reset is not as tactile or uh, audible as some other pistols that I've tried, but it's decent. So that's pretty nice. Still has a thumb safety here, and then it will have a trigger safety as well, much like some of the other striker fire pistols out there. So with all of that uh, being said, this is a vast improvement from its previous models, and I do applaud Taurus for taking the time and effort to listen to their custom, customer base, pro or con, and have made these upgrades. So good on Taurus for doing that. I got a target about 60 yards down range, a little gong, um, a 12 inch gong. Let's see if I can get this with the G3C. I've been able to get it with the uh, M17, but uh, see if I can stretch the legs on the G3. Oh, first round. Look at that. 
Now let's talk about reliability of this pistol. I've been able to put about 300 rounds through it. It's not as much as uh, some of my other reviews that I've done, but right now am ammunition is extremely hard to come by, so I'm trying to conserve as much as I can still provide you guys content as much as possible. The first thing that I did was I ran about 100 rounds through this pistol with just standard brass. I think it was Winchester white box and uh, it ran just fine. From there, what I did was I ran three different types of defensive loads. And the reason why I ran brass through it first was to kind of foul it up, maybe break it in a little bit, but also kind of to mimic a lot of what most average shooters would do. Take it to the range, shoot it a little bit, and then kind of put it into their nightstand or whatever, may not clean it. Okay, defensive loads through the G3C, spare gold dot. Sig. Hornady. No problems. In addition to that, I also ran 20 rounds of steel case ammo to see if it would have any issues with it binding in the magazines. So I put 10 rounds in one magazine, 10 rounds in another, and then did a magazine change in between. Had no issues with that at all, and then finished off the rest of the 300 rounds through uh, with brass stuff. So. Zero issues, zero reliability concerns, and that is huge for this pistol and should uh, put people's mind to rest when it comes to being concerned on whether or not a inexpensive or budget pistol is going to have issues. Now that kind of brings me into the concern that I do have with this pistol, and that's going to run me back to what I said at the very beginning of the video, and that's going to be my concern and probably my bias against Taurus when it comes to the quality control for what they produce. So far, the G2C that I've owned, the G3C that I am now reviewing has had no issues for me. However, there are a lot of concerns on forums, comics of uh, YouTube videos. I've even seen a YouTube video from Mickey with Carry Trainer where he's had an issue with his G2C and that kind of really makes me a little uh, hesitant to recommend this pistol to people out there. Now, at the end of the day, if people are strapped for cash and their choices are, say, maybe a High Point C9 or you know, a Sky CPX2 or this one, I'm probably going to lead them down this path and recommend the G3C. And I will especially recommend the G3C over the G2C because of the improved trigger and the improved sights. However, if they have a little bit extra money to put towards a pistol, uh, not towards ammunition or training, that's completely separate, but if they have a little bit extra for the pistol, in their budget, then I would recommend maybe a Smith & Wesson m and Shield. Uh, yeah, it has lower capacity, but I still think the reliability is going to be a little bit better, um, especially the QAQC. I would probably uh, recommend a Canik TP9 Elite SC, which is their compact version of the TP9. So uh, like I said, if they've got a little bit extra money, I may recommend other pistols. However, if they just don't have it yeah i'd i'd be okay i would caution them but i would be okay with that so let me know sound off in the comment section down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get out of here thanks so much for swinging by i really do appreciate it and uh, we'll catch you guys next time as always freedom through strength here comes a high five catch you guys later bye y'all